Ano nga ba ang pagkakaiba ng central angle sa inscribed angle? Alam niyo ang sagot sa video na to. Good day learners! Today we're going to discuss inscribed angles. As a recap, ano yung pagkakaiba nila ng central angle? Central angle is an angle formed by any two radii in a circle whose vertex is the center of the circle. While on the other hand, when we say inscribed angle, inscribed angle is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and whose sides contains the chords of the circle. So kung mapapansin ninyo, yung tanging pagkakaiba nila is that yung central angle, ang vertex niya ay nasa center ng circle. Inscribed angle naman, yung, yung vertex niya ay any points on the circuit. We have here an example of an inscribed angle. So, suppose we have circle P. So, P yung center ng circle natin. So, therefore, the circle is named as circle P. So, yung angle natin dito or yung inscribed angle natin dito would be Angle A, B, C. Okay, so, angle A, B, C. Again, yung vertex ng angle na ito or ng inscribed angle ay any points on the circle. So, mapapansin natin yung vertex B natin, yung point B, ay part ng circle or point on the circle. And at the same time, yung sides naman ng angles natin ay chords. So, we have the first chord B, A or segment B, A. And the second chord, segment B, C. Okay, now how about the intercepted arc of this inscribed angle? So, same lang ng concept ng intercepted arc ng central angle. So, yung intercepted arc natin dito would be R, A, C. Okay, R, A, C. So, mapapansin ninyo, kaharap pa rin siya ng given angle natin. We also have theorems about inscribed angles. So the first theorem states that the measure of an inscribed angle is one half the measure of its intercepted arc. In this case, yung, central ang yung inscribed angle natin, pamakuha natin yung measurement ng angle ABC, that would be just equal to one half of its intercepted arc or the measurement of its intercepted arc. So, yung mga letters dito, depende na yan kung ano yung binigay sa uh, given na circle natin. But here, yung formula sa pagkuha ng degree measure ng degree measurement ng inscribed angle is just one half of its intercepted arc. Suppose that the intercepted arc is equal to, uh, let's say, 70 degrees. Okay. So, kung 70 degrees yung arc AC, therefore, para makuha si angle ABC, yung inscribed angle natin, kukunin lang natin yung kalahati ng 70 degrees. So, it follows na yung measurement ng inscribed angle natin would be 35 degrees. So, 35 degrees siya dito. Okay? Now, pag given naman yung inscribed angle, tapos nawawala yung degree measurement ng uh, intercepted arc, all we need to do is to multiply by 2. So, halimbawa, 35 degrees yung given na measurement ng, sent ng inscribed angle. So, para makuha yung uh, Intercepted arc AC, all we need to do is to multiply 35 by 2. So, 35 times 2, that would be equal to 70 degrees. Now, let's proceed to the second theorem. We call this one as the semicircle theorem. An angle inscribed in a semicircle is a right angle. Okay, suppose we have here a uh, circle P. Okay, so let us say, lalagay ko pa ng letter dito, point D. So, suppose we have the inscribed angle. Yung inscribed angle natin dito would be A, B, C. Okay? So, yung inscribed angle, it is inscribed in the semicircle 
A, T, C. So, yung semicircle natin dito is R, A, D, C. Or semicircle A, D, C. Yung inscribed angle naman natin dito is angle A, B, C. So, sabi sa theorem, pag ang inscribed angle ay inscribed sa isang semicircle, and we all know for a fact that yung measurement or yung degree measurement ng semicircle is equal to 180 degrees. So, kalahati nun would be 90 degrees. So, it follows na pag ang, set, pag ang inscribed angle ay inscribed sa isang semicircle, its measurement is a right angle, which is equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, kung ang semicircle natin ADC is equal to 180 degrees, yung inscribed angle niya, which is angle B or angle ABC, is a right angle which is equivalent to 90 degrees. So, the measurement of angle ABC is equal to 90 degrees. So, it follows na yung intercepted arc din ni uh, R, yung intercepted arc din ni angle ABC is the semicircle itself. Semicircle ATC. The next theorem is the inscribed angles in the same arc theorem. So, two or more angles inscribed in the same arc are congruent. Now, let's look at this figure. So, we have two inscribed angles. So, yung first inscribed angle natin would be uh, angle YWZ. So, angle YWZ. And yung pangalawang inscribed angle naman natin would be Y X Z or angle Y X Z. Okay, based sa theorem, yung pinanggit sa theorem, pag yung dalawang inscribed angle ay nag-share ng isang intercepted arc, therefore, yung dalawang inscribed angle ay congruent sa isa't isa. Okay, so ano ba yung intercepted arc ni angle Y W Z? So that would be uh, intercepted R so that would be R Y Z okay now how about yung intercepted arc naman ni angle Y X Z so Y X Z yung intercepted arc niya is still Y Z okay in this case, parehas sila ng intercepted arc. Now, suppose the measurement of the intercepted arc is 64 degrees. So, it follows na yung degree measure ng dalawang inscribed angle natin would be equal or the same. So, how are we going to get the measurement of angle Y, W, Z? So, same lang ng theorem number 1 natin. The inscribed or the degree measurement of the inscribed angle is always one half of its intercepted arc. So, one half ng Y, Z. Okay, so if Y, Z is 64 degrees, therefore, angle or the measurement of angle Y, W, Z is equal to 32 degrees. Now, based on theorem natin, since they share the same intercepted arc, it also follows that the angle or the measurement of angle Y, X, Z is also equal to 32 degrees. And lastly, we have the inscribed quadrilateral theorem. So, opposite angles of an inscribed quadrilateral are always supplementary. Okay, so we have here our last example. So, again, we have circle P. And kung mapapansin natin, yung quadrilateral ay inscribed sa circle. So, we have four inscribed angles. We have inscribed angle A, angle B, angle C, and angle D. Pinabanggit sa theorem na pag ang quadrilateral ay inscribed sa circle, yung opposite angles are supplementary. When we say supplementary angles, those are two angles whose sum is equal to 180 Therefore, the measurement of angle B 
is supplementary to its opposite angle. So, ano ba yung opposite angle ni angle B? So, ang opposite angle niya is angle D. So, pag i-add ko yung dalawang angles, that would be equal to 180. Same din ang case ng A at saka C. So, yung degree measurement ni angle A at yung degree measurement naman ni angle C is also equal to 180 degrees. So, suppose... Uh, angle A is equal to 80 degrees. So, how are we going to get angle C? So, to get the value of angle C, we simply follow the theorem. Gaya ng binanggit sa theorem, yung opposite angles daw are supplementary. So, since given na yung angle A na 80 degrees, kukunin na lang natin si angle C. Okay, we're going to equate the two angle sa 180 since they are supplementary. So, Itatanspose lang natin si 80 degrees. So, we will have 180 minus 80 degrees. Therefore, angle C is equal to 100 degrees. Now, it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.